Hi, have you ever had a problem where you find that the user interface for your software is just too small? For example, Photoshop on the Surface 3 tablet, the menus are so small, the buttons are so small, and the control palette, those little buttons are so tiny, so challenging to click. Well, there's actually a Windows software to solve this problem, and it's located in the Windows App Store. So let's do a search for it. It's called Tablet Pro. This is the software. For the free version, it actually comes with two uh, features. If you want to unlock other features, you have to pay for them. And the one feature that I'm going to show you today is called the Artist Pad. And you have to pay for the Artist Pad. So after you install everything, the feature, um, the software appear at the taskbar at the bottom here. This is quite tiny. Let me zoom in. It is actually this little mouse-like icon here. Before you use it, you should change the settings, but I'm going to show you what you can get with this software. When you press on the button, you'll see all these shortcut buttons coming out. These are the buttons that I have set up to be used with Photoshop. I have brush, eraser, the arrow, white arrow, undo, brush size, save, new, layer, new, file, open, the hand to and the zooming features. So let me open up Photoshop now. With these shortcut buttons, you can now very easily access all the menus and functions of Photoshop. For example, if I want to create a new file, I just press this little button that I've customized, Control N, to create a new file, and click OK. So this is my new file. Then I hit the B button, which is the brush. I get my brush. If I want to change color, I can still use the menus, I mean the color palette on the right side. Oops, I did not change correctly. So this is quite difficult because the interface is a bit small to use. So that's why the buttons are necessary. They really add a lot of functionality to it. If I want to undo, I can just undo it. If I want to increase the brush size, I can do it as well. And let's say I want to close my file now or zoom in. Let's zoom in my file and see. So I just press this button to zoom. This is Photoshop CS6. This is not optimized for touch gesture, so I cannot do things like this. I cannot pinch and zoom. I cannot use double finger to move the thing around. This will um, somehow it just disappear. Anyway, I've set all the keyboard shortcuts here. I can just press this button. It will fill the screen with the canvas. If I hit the plus sign, I can zoom in and can zoom down. If I hit, hit the hitch button here, I can pan with the hand. So these buttons are very useful. You can set up to um, 27 buttons would be my recommended number of buttons to set because there are three columns and nine rows. You can, the buttons, if you set it three columns and nine rows, they will appear to be this size, which I think is quite comfortable for the finger to press. Note that this feature is only good for software that has a lot of keyboard shortcuts and functions. For example, Photoshop is one of them with a lot of keyboard shortcuts. If you look into the menu, you will be able to see all these different keyboard shortcuts. You can set every single one of them to the button. However, if you are using some other software that does not have so many shortcuts, for example, Mischief, the drawing app, you find that, well, oops, let me turn that off because the menu is disappearing you find that some of the, for example, clear canvas, reset canvas, so all these do not have a keyboard shortcut associated with the function. And there is no way to create a keyboard shortcut for those functions, unlike Photoshop, where you can customize keyboard shortcuts. So in this case, you can only work with those that have preset keyboard shortcuts. And that's the limiting factor for Tablet Pro, but it really depends on what software you are using. So let me show you how to customize the buttons. After you install everything, 
you should press and hold this button here to open up all the menus so one of the menu will be the artist pad but I would you can select artist pad and it will turn it right on however you do not want that you want to change the layout and the buttons so you press the layout and this will give you the screen to work on to customize your button it takes a bit of work to customize your button because well if you're going to customize 27 buttons it will take some time so these are all the different uh, panels you can work on the one that I use is the artist pad the large one the one that docks by the left side of the screen so here right now you can see all the different buttons um, like this this is already customized however if you want to customize your own just click on the button and you'll be able to change the buttons uh, right here so you can go through all the different um, buttons you want to assign it to this software button so this is brush you can set the arrangement to be exactly where it, you want it to be using all these pixel settings here top down left and right there are also some command functions like control shift alternate and if you want to change the button name to something more recognizable you can do that as well so let's say for example if you want to change this button to uh, open a file you would have to set this button here to be O and then you have to click ch check the control so this will be uh, open file and make sure to rename it so that you can know what button it represents anyway now I'm going to set it back to the brush button after that you should save as save it somewhere and name your file accordingly let's say if you want this file to be a photoshop keyboard setting you just save it as photoshop so you can actually save different keyboards for different software like if you use illustrator which has a different sort of keyboard um, shortcuts you can create a keyboard shortcut file specifically for illustrator just to recap this whole software is called tablet pro and artist pad is just one of the many features offered in tablet pro and artist pad is the one that gives you the ability to create customized keyboard shortcuts if you want to assess other features you might have to pay to unlock them and artist pad is one of the paid software so you have to spend some money to get that feature that's all for my review today if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel do so for more sketching tips and techniques art product reviews and more thanks for watching see you in the next video bye